That leader into captivity. Shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. You know what the scripture says? For those people who killed us with the sword, they have to be killed with the sword. Do you want to know when it's going to happen? When our women stop putting blonde in their hair. That's right. When our women stop wearing pants and shirts. Right. Their bodies. When our young brothers actually take care of their wives, That's have right. girlfriend, right boyfriend, when we actually stand up as the men of the house, right. we stop depending on the white man to give us everything, food stamps, section eight, right. government money. When we start standing up for ourselves, then they will fall. That's but until right. then, they're going to remain on top. Wanna know why? Because we're the servants of them. And most of our people, they like it. Why do you think our sisters perm their hair? Why do, why do our sisters perm their hair? Why do our sisters perm their hair? Why don't our sisters wear froze like how they had no money grow? It's easy to upkeep. You gotta spend money to get a perm. My wife used to get perms and relaxes and all of that. So did my sisters. And guess what? So get, my sisters spent rent money on him. We gonna get together, y'all, do all this, and then we gonna get rid of them. Doggone right, okay. Zephaniah 2 and 1. Watch this. Watch this. I'm going to show you. you say. Yeah, this is what the Bible yeah, say. And what I say. If, the, if we do what the Bible say to do, then all of this will go away. Watch this. I'm going to show you. Zephaniah 2 and 1. And then, and then I'm going to let him show you what else you can do to get that devil out your life. Read. Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. Right out. Gather yourselves together. He said, gather ourselves together. Read. Yea, gather together, O nation, oh, who? O nation, so all people, O nation, nation, not desire. He said, gather together, O nation, not desire. Are we not the ones being killed in the streets? Right, you see any Chinese people getting killed in the streets? No. You see any Asian people getting killed in the streets? You see any white people getting killed in the streets? You see any Africans getting killed in the streets? You see Arabs getting killed in the streets? You see black folk getting killed in the streets? Black folk with their uh, selves getting lynched in Mississippi. Black folk getting themselves killed out there in Minnesota. You know what I'm saying? Only us, we're the ones that's at the bottom. So guess what? God, the Jesus Christ of this Bible, the black man, he's only for us. God is not the God of everybody. God don't like everybody. That's right. That's right. God only likes, you see these 12 trials right here? That's it. That's who God likes. That's the God's chosen people. Other than that, everybody else, give me Isaiah 40 and 17. Let me show you something. I'm going to give it to the brother. I'm going to show you something where the other nations come into play. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 17. All nations before him are as nothing. Oh, as what? Nothing. What are the nations before God? What are the nations before God? What are the nations before God? Nothing. So when you walk around like you better than everybody else out here, you better walk proudly because you are better than everybody else out here. Bring it up. And that's what the Bible that's says. Arrogant. That's pride. No, it's not. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Bring, Bring it up. up. Bring it up. Pride. Bring it up. They took your black Christ, your Lord and Savior, and made him a white man. How is that arrogance and how is that pride when they took our people and, and, and murdered them? They took our women and raped them. Bring they took our brothers and killed them. They raped the men too. They That's said that they everybody, say that, exactly, yeah. but this is what the white man and the other nations did to your people. Right. This is not what we did to ourselves, this is what they did to you. They put you in human zoos. That's they right. They cut your nut sacks off and used them as coin purses. Right out. They took your skin off and used it as leather for books. Right. One question, what's your religion? Is there is no religion. This is God's law, statutes, and commandments. That's right. Nowhere in this Bible does it give you Christianity, Islam, Bring it up. Day Adventist, Methodist, so religion Pentecostal. Be done away with. You dog on right so it, dude. Belief is a religion. No, belief is keeping God's law. That's right. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. He said, Thou art in holy people to the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people uh -huh. unto himself. Unto himself. God chose us, these 12 tribes, to be a special people to himself. Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Equal to all people. Above all people. The same as all people. Above all people. So who's arrogant? Am I arrogant or is God arrogant? 
it does he not deserve the right to be arrogant? He created you. Yeah. He created the world. Yeah. So he said, I'm going to choose you and I'm not going to choose them. Who am I to say otherwise? We just reading pages off a book, right? Yeah. The first question I'll bring to the most out the first question you asked when you walked up is what? How do we keep the Sabbath day holy? So you must know something, don't you? Yeah, and I also know that there's been this dispute between Sunday and Sabbath. Exactly. So do you know what the biblical Sabbath day is? The Sabbath day or Sunday. Let's see what the Bible says. Give me that Exodus 20 and 8. Saturday is the end of the week. The week is the beginning of the week. Saturday is the end of the week. Sunday is the beginning of the week. We're going to find out. Genesis chapter 2 and verse 1. Genesis 2 and 1. Genesis means beginning. So this is when everything was created. Everything laid out. Let's see. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished. And all the host of them. Uh huh. And on the seventh day. So hold on. He said, Thus the heavens and the earth was created and everything was finished. And on what day? On the seventh day. The seventh day. So you know, hold on. You had the first day, second, third, fourth, fifth. And the seventh is the last day. And on the seventh day, God ended his work which he had made. Read. And he rested on the seventh day. So God rested on the seventh day. From all his work. Which he had made. Uh huh. And God blessed the seventh day. No, he blessed the first day. God blessed the seventh day. So take out your phone, look on any calendar. What is the first day of the week? Sunday. Okay, so it starts with Sunday, right? Sunday the first. What's the seventh day? Seven. Read Exodus 20 and 8. Exodus chapter 20. Read Exodus 20 and 8. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. The Most High is telling the children of Israel, which is you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and you Native Americans, saying remember the Sabbath day because he knew we would forget through slavery. That's right. Going through all this time of slavery, being hung, being beaten. We would forget our nationality. So he said do what? Remember the Sabbath day. Which is the seventh day of the week, which is what? Saturday. Saturday. To keep it holy. Which is what we're doing today. We come out here on the Sabbath day, like Christ did, and preach to the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. Keep it holy. We're going to show you how the Sabbath day was changed through slavery. Hold on, don't go nowhere. I got some more history I'm going to drop on you. Bring it out. This right. is for the so called Muslims of the world. This is another destruction to another religion. This is called From Babylon to Timbuktu. A black man wrote this who knows he's an Israelite. Right. Mm -hmm. This is page 49. Muhammad tried to construct his religion as closely as he could after the Jewish religion, meaning after our laws. He favored the Jews by accepting many of their laws and traditions. When the Jews refused to be converted, he commanded his followers to stop turning to the holy city of Jerusalem in prayer, but rather to turn to the city of Mecca. He changed the Jewish Yom Kippur Day of Atonement or Fast Day, which he had accepted for the month of Ramadan. Check this out. Muhammad changed the Jewish Sabbath. He changed the Jewish Sabbath from Saturday. From Saturday, he changed the Jewish Sabbath, which is our Sabbath, the Sabbath of the Bible, which he just said keep the seventh day holy. From, from Saturday to Friday. From Saturday to Friday, read. We have another parallel with Christianity. Oh, it's parallel with Christianity. In the 4th century, the church changed the Sabbath. Hold on. In the 4th century, the, the church, the Protestant whites, what they do? They changed, the, the church changed the Sabbath to Sunday. Oh, to Sunday. And reorganized its calendar to make Easter separate of Passover. They, the Christian church, Christianity, we're not about Christianity. Christianity has destroyed our people. If you go to church on Sunday, you you going off. You don't miss the wickedness. You you serving idolatry. That's we right. just read that they changed the, the change the Sabbath from Saturday to Sunday. Where did that happen? When did that happen? Isaiah 29, 13. I want y'all to pay close attention to this. Our people out. have been destroyed so bad we don't even know these things. I got one question though. What's your question? I've been told that the Quran is a simpler version of the Bible. A the Bible simpler version? Is, yeah, it's written in codes. Hold on one second. You've been told that the Quran is a simpler version of the Bible. Let's see yeah. something. Isaiah 34, so 16. Uh, Isaiah 34, 16. Yeah. Then I want you to uh, get, um, get Isaiah 34, 16 first. We're going to get to one thing. Isaiah chapter 34. And verse 16. First off, we just seen in that Bible in the 10 book 2 where it said uh, Muhammad took on Jewish traditions and customs. We just read that. Where did he get the Jewish traditions and customs from? The Bible, right? Oh. The Jews, the Bible, right? 
Okay, so why would he take something from the the Bible and put it into something else? Why why, why do we just keep this? You take out the Bible. Kabbalah. No, why would he just keep the Bible? He said they took the Muhammad took Jewish traditions and customs. Yeah. Where do you find Jewish traditions and customs in the Bible, right? Yeah. The, the commandments. Why would he take that and put it What's in something the else? Between the Jew and the Hebrew. I'm about to show you. Read that. Bro. Bro. What's your name? Hey. Hey. <laughs> I see you got a lot of questions. You do, and that's really good. I pray that you stick around and get these answers. Because for one, you asked like three different questions, all right? Yeah. The first one was, is the Quran the same as the Bible? Similar version. No. You know what Quran means? What? Reciting. You get out. That's what it means. Quran means the reciting. What is it reciting? The Bible. That's right. Why is it reciting the Bible? Because Muhammad could not read or write. He had to give, he could talk to people. He was a smooth talker. You know what I'm saying? He could not read. Now I'm going to show you more history. I'm not going to go by the Old Testament and talk about the pork. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Who said that eating pork was good? In the New Testament. I don't know. They didn't. You got a lot of doctrines in your head. You've been listening to a lot of people. Some of them people, all of them people are wrong, but some of the people, if you listen to them, lead you to destruction. Now this is back in the, in the same book we just read from. This is after Muhammad became a camel driver, he traveled to remote and intriguing lands. He led his caravans to Persia, Syria, and Egypt, transacting businesses with merchants of every kind. On his business trip, he met Jews, Christians, and members of other sects. He interrogated them concerning their tenets of their religion. He frequented the environment of the Jews and their rabbis, mostly because they were merchants and omnipresent ethnic group. Pay attention. Because he could not read or write. It's saying he couldn't read or write. Yeah. His ears were attentive and keen to everything that the Jews related to him. So Muhammad was listening to everything the Jews were saying. It just said they took their dishes and customs. Read. Last sentence. Muhammad learned and extracted much from the Jewish religion and compounded it with his new religion, Islam. Islam. Hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on. Hold your peace. Hold your peace. Yes, you gonna answer. You gonna one answer. at a time, bro. You gonna answer one at a time. I'll praise you. You got a thirst for knowledge, and that's good. You're looking for the truth. People, are people looking for what's right? What's the right way to go? Muhammad took everything and recited it from the Bible and made it his own spin. The word. Uh, Quran means to recite. That's right. It has no, no, no prophecies in the Quran. Everything he got, so-called, so-called, the Quran yeah. got from the Bible. That's right. So how are you gonna follow a man that can't read or can't write? He took it from somebody else, the Jews, which are you so-called blacks today? That's right. So hold your peace, bro. Isaiah 3416. Gonna answer everything you got. Isaiah 3416. Isaiah chapter 34 and verse 16. Check this out. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Seek out of the book of the Lord, the Bible and read. No one of these shall fail. No one of these, no one of these prophecies shall fail. Like I said, we were going through slavery on ships. That happened. That did not fail. That's right. We will be letting the captain. You know something, bro. So don't, let's not, let's not. You know a lot. So stay with us. Stay with us. <laughs> None one of these prophecies shall fail. We will be serving other gods, having different idols upon our neck. The image, the cross, the masonry, everything we got is to serve other gods. The Bible says if we didn't serve him, we will serve other gods. That's that right. A, that was a prophecy given by Moses in the Torah, the first five books of the Bible. That did not fail. We went into slavery on ships. Give me that. Give me the sign. We went into slavery on ships. We had yokes of iron upon our neck. This happened to our people. That's they right. showed their roots. Django, 12 years a slave. We serve other gods. So, no one of these prophecies shall fail. The Quran has no prophecies, not one. It copied everything from the Bible, the Holy Bible. So let's get it. Uh, read, finish that out. None it shall out. want her mate. Hold on. None shall want her mate. We can't join this. You want some water? Yeah. Ephesians 5.26, I'm going to give you some water. Bring it out. I'm going to give you some, some water. I'm going to give you some water. Because you sit here listening, you want to learn, brother, we here for you. But you got to be humble enough to hold on and accept this word. All your questions, we're going to get you. Ephesians 5.26, we're going to see what Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 26. That's what I want. 
that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. He's giving you holy water right now, believe God, it or not. He's giving you holy, the best water you're going to get. What a definition of spirit. Give me that, give me that in John with the Samaritan woman. Okay. Give me that in John. Hold on, hold your peace. You say you want some water, we be baptized you right now. John, I think it's uh, John 4, 4 and 4. Oh, no, yeah. You say you want some water. Yeah. He say cleanse it with the washing of the water, of the water by the word. You're getting that good water right now, that water of life, bro. Read That's that. That's right. John chapter 4, verse 13. That's what I want. Yeah. And Jesus said, it, said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water. And Christ said, Whosoever drinketh of this water, this knowledge, these words, not no damn Quran, whoever drinketh of this water. Shall thirst again. You ain't gonna never thirst again, bro. You ain't gonna never thirst again. What does that mean? All oh, praises. It means give uh, Matthew 3 and 11. Bring it up. I'm about to answer your question. Did you understand what Christ said, though? Who's up saying whoever, whoever partakes in this knowledge will never thirst again. You're talking about in the spirit, spiritually, right? Yes. We're gonna read. Talk. We're gonna read. We're gonna read. 3 and 11. Matthew chapter 3 and verse 11. Right here. I indeed baptize you with water. John said, I indeed baptize you with water. Read. Unto repentance. Uh -huh. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I. Talking about Christ. What are you going to do? Whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. Uh -huh. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. So the water, the new understanding, is the Holy Ghost. With the Holy Ghost is what? With the Holy Ghost. Give me the Holy Ghost, Acts 7, 51, but first give me Isaiah 1 and 16. Bring it out! I'll show you something. You said the water, and we touching on a lot, bro. Holy Ghost, we touching on a lot. I'm going to get it, though. Isaiah 1, 16 first. All right. Check Isaiah! This. Chapter 1, verse 16. So the water, the Holy Ghost, the washing of the water. He told the woman, Samaritan woman, you shall never thirst again. Meaning the truth, the knowledge of Christ and who we are. You learn you are Israelite, you're going to never thirst again. The biggest lie upon the face of the earth is your nationality, who we are as a people. That's right. We will understand that. Then we will never thirst again because these nations ain't going to be able to stand before us once you know you are an Israelite man, an Israelite woman. But first we have to be cleansed, we have to be washed in our minds, we have to be renewed. Read that. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 16. Read. Wash you. Make you clean. Put away evil from your doing. So he's saying, wash you, make you clean. He's talking about taking a bath? No, let's see what he's saying. Like he said, you shall th never thirst again. Let's see what he's saying. Read. Wash you. Wash you. Uh-huh. Make you clean. Read. Put away the evil of your doings. Put away the evil, the sin of your doings. Women in pants, men in skirts, not keeping the Sabbath day holy, eating pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. Put all that filth away. Because that's not going to save us. That's not the road to salvation. That's Put away right. the evil of your doings. Now, hold it. Go back to what I, uh, I told you to get. Because they went to Ephesians 5, 26, talking about the washing of the word. We touched on Matthew saying, John baptized you with water, but he that come after baptized you with the Holy Ghost, which is the laws. The Holy Ghost ain't, oh, Lord, I'm in the shaman of liar, in the church house, doing all that craziness. That's not the Holy Ghost. Acts chapter 7, verse 51. This is the Holy Ghost. Ye stiff neck and uncircumcised in the heart and ears, ye do always Resist the Holy Ghost. You do always resist the Holy Ghost. As your fathers did, so do ye. Uh-huh. Verse 53. Verse 53. Who have received the law. The law, oh, law. He said you do always resist the Holy Ghost. Verse 53. Who, who have received the law. What is the, what is the Holy Ghost? I need you to stay with me. You have a lot of questions. We bringing out the information. You got it. You want it? I'll praise it. So you are paying attention. I'll praise it. The Holy Ghost is the law. So, when it says you shall never thirst again, John 8.32. This is what you're going to never thirst again. I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ.
YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.